friends, this is Andy Vegan. I make a beet salad today. Carrot, no, a um, red beet salad. And I have a special dressing. I uh, already shown you in another video you might want to watch. It is um, a refined dressing. It's based on a simple take three. That is uh, just um, tarragon, cashews and lemon and water. Yeah? That's the base. And then it, it's a dressing on its own. And then I add it to refine it, two more ingredients. That is to say I blended a carrot in, or two, yeah? and some mustard seeds. And that is an amazing combination. Tarragon, carrot, mustard seeds, with a lemon. Yeah? Really, it's delicious. Ah, very delicious. And um, it's also very nice with this salad. I make it, um, here's our red beets and apples, that is the base. Yeah, that's about the same quality. And I want to show you something for each ingredient here, especially how I treat it. So first the apples, that's easier. Usually I just wash the apple and I halve it and I look into the core here. And the core is healthy, you can see. Yeah, no molds in there, yeah. so no worms, so I can leave the cores inside, very healthy. I wash just, I just here, this has to be washed, and here I sometimes I cut out here where the blossom is, yeah, because there's a little bit of dirt, I cut that out. And for the rest, this is a green apple, and especially the green apples, they, they turn to, into something yellow pretty quickly. So just have half a lemon aside, and when I cut it, yeah, and I want to save it, save it for a while and put it on the counter or so do something else and just touch it with a lemon shortly and then it will remain fresh. And yeah, that's what I'm going to show you today. Just a half lemon, yeah? That's, you can use the lemon afterwards, just a little tool. And for the red beet, you see I have here the red beet and this is a slice of red beet. And here you see there's a peel on and it can happen that the beet, if you eat it raw, uh, tastes a little bit intense, and in that case, it might even be the, the peel that tastes even more so. Yeah. So in this case, I just cut the peel very, very thinly. I showed you that it's very easy. I have the, sli the slices here. I just go like this with a, with a knife, you see, and I cut the peel down. That is pretty easy. And the first thing I show you, so, and you don't be, to be very precise with it, but what happens if you, you, another effect is when you peel it like this, see, like you would an apple. Now here they find these dark spots in there, here's the big one, I wanted to show you, that's why I kept this one. These dark spots are not nice, they are uh, like coal, <laughs> charcoal or so, you don't want to eat that. You just cut it out like this, there's no problem, see, cut it out. Oops, I'm working a little bit deeper, I have to go, and then it's out. You see this, I don't eat, I put that away. There's a little bit more, I cut this out. Here's a little bit, I cut these out. And that's what I wanna show you. Then the beet is okay if you, if you get these dark spots out, especially, I mean, that is a, something in nature happens, something that is, I don't know why that happens. Maybe there's a, a wound in the plant or something that fell down or <clears throat> something fell on that, I don't know. But it's no problem. If it sits for a while, these can, things can happen. This is still a wonderful beet. This, uh, I cleaned this one, you see, and then uh, it's ready to use. Uh, all the dark spots out. And now I come to use uh, my food processor. And for the beet and for the apple, I use this, uh, this kind of blade. Yeah? So one of the um, tools that is, comes with the food processor has two sides. Yeah? And uh, this is for the apple. It's a gross one. And this is a fine um, blade for um, the grater for the red beet. Now, I tried before which kind of blade I would use for the beet and I, sa I thought I saw it might be better to use the fine one because the beet has a gross flavor. Some don't like it at all. But if you have the small, the, the Julienne's, then it tastes wonderful. It's very fresh then. And watery because you cut it fine and the surface the surface is maximized and the water comes out and the flavor changes completely uh, <clears throat> so I, but I begin with the apple because once I grated the, the beet 
the blender is red and then the, all the apples are red and I want to have a nice nice uh, color contrast I want to have the white here or the slight green and the red together and not everything in red so better better use it um, first because I use the apple first they remain light like this put the apples all in here I cut it into smaller pieces and then I can all put them in one go into the blender into the grater and lose lose gates <laughs> off we go <laughs> the apple I put in my I, I don't need to show you now I show you later together with the beet so the beet comes in in the same way I may be putting all in I have the same quantity of beets and apples as you may have noticed or about, about the main same quantity it doesn't really matter it is not very important too much beet will make me a little bit heavy I don't know you don't need that much it's whole beet You know what? I forgot to turn it around. It doesn't matter. So if you use a grater or like this here, yeah. If you use this one or a similar kind, yeah. or if you use a food processor, it doesn't really matter. You can use either way. Yeah. It's a zero problem. I guess this one is a little bit faster. That's all, and it's also easy to cleanse. And you see here, I have now. I have the the gross beads these pieces but they are still okay you see it's not too big it's okay and under the beads there are the apples both go now into my salad bowl yeah. and I still have a nice color contrast as I wanted I have the red and I have the white from the apple or slight green and the third ingredient here is classic <coughs> since the raisins sultanos see the raisins they go over as an ingredient and together with the, the three ingredients I have this as a unit and the second unit is my dressing it tastes so good and if you leave it in the fridge for a day or so as I did the flavor of the mustard seeds comes on really through it tastes really wonderful you have to try this contrast there are very strange flavors yeah um, tarragon sometimes like licorice, licorice. <coughs> but you put it together with lemon and then with mustard seed it's so so nice with the carrot it's so different you don't notice the licorice it's a different flavor see I go put it all over it and I use all of it because it's such a nice dressing you want to have a little bit more of it it's so delicious yeah. not a soup but you see rich with dressing on top of it um, the th third uh, part to say yeah, not ingredients but parts the third part is one ingredient here I soaked some walnuts these have been soaked because they're a little bit bitter if you have um, nicer walnuts they're not bitter you don't need to soak them but they are a little bit softer now too after soaking rinsing and draining I put them on top some of them and that is my beet salad today with a mustard seed carrot tarragon dressing mmm so yummy and of course super healthy there are so many health benefits I can't even count begin to count the beet is um, generally uh, known for its um, support of the blood yeah. it is red yeah. a lot of iron iron in there and um, it allows for the blood to take more oxygen in so you, especially if you make a if you're on a training or a workout or something and you begin with a beet a beet juice or a beet salad you can really have a better performance because there is so much oxygen in the blood and the other the other ingredients all have many health benefits yeah you can look it up but it's so delicious and the more I develop my flavor my, my cooking the more I understand I feel that good, good ingredients are delicious yeah and my body craves always what is best for it the healthiest and the delicious is the same at the same time that's what I try to develop for myself and the recipes I make are always delicious and they're healthy at the same time I guess that's how cooking should be right I don't know you might have um, other experiences and sometimes I also really like some french fries <laughs> I can't resist yeah um, and um, well 
it's maybe also pleasing and healthy in a way. <laughs> okay, friends, see you very soon, I hope. I hope you will enjoy my little demonstration. You like my salad, my recipe. And if you do so, you can also subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. See you there. <laughs>